Hi everyone, I'm Victoria and I'm so excited to have you all here. I am a seventh year third grade teacher in Maine. I'm also a new mom to a, I can't believe it, 10 month old. And today we are going to do a classroom setup. Um, I am hoping to mail out a letter about the teacher to my future students. I'm hoping to get some cleaning done because I might not have done the best job of like covering up my bookshelves. Oops. And I have other things like bringing stuff in and so on. So I'm just hoping to get some things done. We'll see what we get to. I am bringing my baby along with me. So who knows how productive I will be. <laughs> Um, I am super excited to be here on this platform and I'm also a little nervous to talk to my camera. So thank you for being here and for your kindness. If you would like to follow along in my teaching journey and my classroom setup journey, please like and subscribe. I am so happy to have you here and let's go set up my classroom. <music> All right, I am here. I am so impressed by the custodians. They put back almost everything exactly where I had it last year. So that is a huge relief and just wonderful. I am hoping to be here just for about an hour and then get back home so I can give my baby some lunch and then get him down for a nap around two. And right now it's around 12. So we're gonna get some work done quickly and hopefully be very productive, we'll see. And let me flip you around, kind of give you an overview of the classroom and then let's get to work. All right, so this is the back of my classroom and that is my cutie baby right there. <laughs> Say hi, Hugo. Hi. And so back here, I usually have a classroom um, tools board so I might do that again but I did take the banner down so we'll see I might change that up a little bit and then I usually put my lunch choices like right here and then my schedule right here but I need to print some new cards for that and then I have back here um, my schedule and some like behavior management rewards and then I have some be uh, birthday old birthday stuff and then you get to, oh, fan fell down. <laughs> and then you get to my table, which I usually use really as like my desk. And I need to update all of these drawers, but this is where I store like my papers throughout the school year. And then my library and Let's see, lots of my library. Then I have some math manipulatives and some indoor recess games and my like calm down corner slash mentor text. Then I have just a place for student work. And then I have this teacher desk and file folder or file cabinet thing. I am thinking about getting rid of this teacher desk. I have like never used it. I have kept it because I honestly don't know if I can get rid of it, but let me know what you think. Should I get rid of this thing? Because I just don't really, I've never found a use for it. Um, I just use my table back there. So let me know what you think. And then also let me know what you keep in your file cabinet. Like I have so many old papers, I'm going to need to update that. So I'd be curious to hear from you what you store in your file cabinet. Okay. Then I have, this is normally a math board, but I'm going to again, update my banner and see if I want to change anything else. And then I have a smart board and my whiteboard that I usually write with, this easel, which will go in the corner over here. And then I have a ton of cabinet storage and all of my like extra bins and stuff up there. And then I have these two bulletin boards. <laughs> and if you can hear my baby, he wants to tell you all about it too, right? You like those bulletin boards. Yeah. 
Um, and behind those bulletin boards, there's extra storage too. So that's a quick overview. Now, I think, let me turn you around. So that's a quick overview of everything. Now I am going to start by just cleaning off surfaces, the like bookshelves and stuff. I don't know if you can see that Yeah, Those need to be cleaned for sure because I did not cover them up over the summer and they always get dirty. And then after I clean that, I am going to try and get something else done. I'll think about what that is after I clean. Let's clean. I think that's all I want to do for surfaces. I know I did not pull out all the stuff and get the knit and grime underneath all that, but I got some, so that's good. Now, <sighs> Hugo's being so cute. Um, let's see, I am going to label some books. So let's label some books that I got last year that I never had a chance to label. Let's go. It wasn't that many so I think I'm gonna be brave and I think I am going to try and put them back where they belong and then we'll figure out what to do after that all right let's go put them back So I finished labeling the books and that was a success. I did find some other books that weren't labeled so I labeled those two and then I couldn't find the letter B label but then I found it and anyways I got all my books labeled that I have that I need labeled and then after that I put down my old birthdays board because I didn't like it anymore one and two it had some old um, student names on it so I now am going to take out some of the stuff that I bought for the school year. Obviously I couldn't carry that much today because I had a baby in tow. And after I take that out, I'll show you. And then I think I'm going to try and just kind of do one more little overview, talk about a few things, and then we're gonna stuff our meet the teacher envelopes and then we're out of here. So, I got this book. My mother-in-law gave it to me. Um, the World Needs More Purple Schools and I'm so excited. I'm gonna add this to my mentor text library. And then what else did I buy? Well, if you're wondering, I bought a plethora of these um, building blocks hashtag blocks from Target Dollar Spot because I thought I could use them for my like daily starter which is like morning time morning tubs a lot of people call it stem tubs so I have like a million of them for our morning choice um, daily starter time and for student birthdays I think I haven't like solidified that idea yet but I'm thinking I have enough for my students so I'm thinking that I'll do that for their birthdays. So, all of those, a lot, like a lot. <laughs> and then I got some Silly Scents dough and 
some like sensory tube things. I thought this and this poppet could go in my like calm corner area. And then I got erasers because these mini erasers are always great for like pieces um, or counters or something like that for a game. And then I got the beloved labels. I'm honestly not sure how I'm going to use them yet, but I'm thinking I'll put some on desks and I'll use some in my classroom library. So that is everything that I have. So now let me kind of walk around the classroom, talk about a few things that I have on my brain and like what I'm thinking we'll do next time. And then let's go stuff those meet the teachers and then let's leave. All right, so here's the progress that I've made. I have this cute baby. Hi. Um, <laughs> I just unpacked all my stuff. I am not going to find a home for it today because I don't want to. And the process of classroom setup is always messier before clean. Now, here's my classroom library. I labeled all the books that I have. Um, if you're interested in how I organize my classroom library, I'll definitely talk about it more another time. But basically I do author's last name and then for fiction and then others for nonfiction. Okay, then didn't touch anything over here. So we've made a lot of progress and this boy is ready to leave. So I'm just gonna talk a little bit about what we've done today and then get some ideas from you all. And then we're gonna mail out those letters and leave. So um, today we got the library all the books labeled that we needed. We have some, we cleaned a little bit and we unpacked some stuff. That's mostly it. <laughs> um, now, um, let's see, let me set this boy down. Okay, now I'm just curious. I'm thinking through the setup. The custodians left the things on the, like the desks kind of diagonal and usually I have them straight. So I think I'm gonna straighten them out again because it gives me more space on the rug. Now the rug I usually use for our meeting area and I'm curious what you all think. So in the past, I didn't have anything on the rug to help them with their like where to sit. Then last year I had sit spots, but that kind of fell apart. Partially I was on maternity leave and I don't really know <laughs> what happened. Um, my maternity leave set was amazing, but I just think like the sit spot things went away. Um, and then when I came back, they were just like, they really just kept picking at them. So recommendations for how, like how to use sit spots and not have your kids just constantly pick at them would be awesome. So I'm going to think about that and then Things I wanna do next time is I wanna work on that file cabinet and clean it out because I have all these old papers and I really only use like digital files now. I have some banners that I need to make for bulletin boards and I need to make a new birthday thing. And I am going to email the custodian if you all agree that I should get rid of that teacher desk so please let me know i'm super curious what you think all right i'm gonna call that good we're gonna go print the mail meet the teachers we're gonna go mail them out and then that's gonna be it for today let's go <laughs>
I would love your feedback on everything from our setup today. So if you have thoughts on if I should keep the desk or not, I'd love to know what you think. And like this filing cabinet, that's my next job. That's what I'm really hoping to work on. So please let me know what you think I should do with it. Like what do I keep it? Do I get rid of it? Do I use it to store like student work? I would love to know anything that you think would work with that. Yeah, just give me all the advice, all the thoughts, and follow along for the next few setup videos. I am hoping to get into my classroom later this week. And um, yeah, like and subscribe and all the things so you can follow along and join me in the fun. Thank you all so much. Have the best day. Thank you.